how to use gulp minnows. Now the best way I've found to use gulp minnows is to use them with the trout magnet jig heads. Just tie one on your line with your favorite knot and then hook the gulp minnow on. What I do, I put the gulp minnow next to the hook and see where the hook is gonna come out. The gulp minnow has to bend around the hook. So you just gotta eyeball it to see exactly where you need it to come out to make it straight on the jig head. Now there's two different ways to fish this. You can use a bobber or you cannot use a bobber. I'm gonna start off with a bobber. And just like night crawlers, minnows, and other baits, just cast it out there. Now most of the time, you can just let it sit there. But sometimes you can like reel it in or give it a couple of tugs to get the fish's attention. But most of the time, just leave it sitting there and wait for a bite. If it's big enough to pull my small bobber under, it's big enough to get hooked. And sometimes you get snagged up and you end up losing your bobber. Which brings me to the second way to use a gulp minnow. The second way, no bobber. Just leave it on the line. With the jig head, obviously. And you just cast it out and reel it in really slow. There we go, I didn't even have to set the hook on this one. Gulp minnows in action. Look at that, nice bluegill. Maybe I can use this as a thumbnail. There you go, gulp minnows work. It's definitely not the best time of year to go... Whoa! It's definitely not the best time of year to go for bluegill. They call them sunfish because they like the sun. And it's getting cold out. I mean, we're getting 50 degree, 40 degree nights and 60 degree days. That's why I'm in pants now. I'm actually keeping these guys in hopes I can catch a flathead with them in the future. Whenever you're casting out and reeling in, you already have tension on the line. So when they grab it, it sets the hook itself most of the time. So you don't have to be like Mike Iaconelli and just, you know, slam on the rod. Kind of like a circle hook, although this is a J hook. Now other types of fish will eat these like perch and bass crappie. It's a good multi-species bait. Now I am using four pound line on a really really small rod and reel. This is a size 10 Akuma Seamar combo. I don't know where you can get these anymore. They're kind of hard to find now with the supply problems we're having. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you can tell four pound line breaks pretty easy. So I got to re-rig this. Now, while I'm re-rigging this, let me show you some clips of earlier attempts to do this video like last week. All I caught were itty bitty fish. So here's a couple of clips from that trip.
Finally. A testament to how small the fish are here. Don't know where the big ones are, but I got a ton of little ones that are trying to eat the bait. I think this is a baby rock bass, maybe. You can see the size of the bait versus the size of the fish. What do I have here? Look at this. Little crankbait. I'll add this to the collection of fishing lures that I found on the bank. All right, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This is the original king of the gulp minnows. This is Clint. I learned some of my techniques from him. And as you can see, he has a bunch of rods and reels because he's going to try for some skipjacks today. And this looks like a really good spot. A bunch of rocks and stuff. Oh, I'm doing real good at catching the small ones. I caught that near a rock. This is just a green sunfish. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Trying to hold them. Look at that. Cool. At least I caught two fish. Nothing big yet. Well, Clint caught one. Are you using a gulp minnow? Yep. Of course. On a gulp minnow. <laughs> there we go. Another, another green sunfish. If they were just a little bit bigger, that'd be premium, premium flathead bait. Although this one, this one's okay. But I'm not keeping any for bait. Now those itty bitty fish was not my only failure at trying to make this video. I actually went fishing earlier today with my boat and got the boat on the water, got to a spot where I thought bluegill would be and had forgotten my camera. And I caught some nice, nice bluegill and red ear. Yeah, here's the red ear. At least I think this is a red ear. I want to get them dirty. Come on, stop it. And a couple of bluegill. See that nice size bluegill. I did leave this aerator off just to have less noise on the video. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. So there's going to be a little bit of noise the rest of this video. I have to do a comparison video one of these days. Gulp minnows versus night crawlers or red worms. I would say red worms. Red worms work better than night crawlers in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below, do you think night crawlers work better than red worms or red worms work better than night crawlers when you're fishing for bluegill? I do like the gulp minnows because they come in that jar and you can keep them anywhere forever. Worms like to die and they can get used up really fast. I can catch multiple bluegill on this. Oh, that was a bite. Or it might've been a piece of wood. Oh, yeah, I think that's a piece of wood, not actual fish. And I treed myself. Didn't lose it. I am definitely not doing as good as I did in that sewer creek. Hung up and line broke. 
All right, I think I am going to call it caught one fish on this video at this spot, caught several at other spots off camera and on camera. I will have to get the king of gulp minnows, which is my buddy Clint, on camera using gulp minnows one of these days. Most of these techniques I've learned from him. And no matter what anybody says, he is the original gulp minnow king. Now I'm going to go to Big Fish Outfitters and buy some more trout magnet jig heads. Because I'm out now. That's the only other problem with using gulp minnows. It's a possibility of losing your gear, especially if you're using it in a bunch of wood like I am right here. Anyway, as always, I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, I will see you guys on the next video.